Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we got some ears going on up in her. As you guys have seen in my previous Get Ready With Me, I will list all the makeup products down below and we're just gonna chit chat and talk about today's topic. And that is my current favorites or obsessions that is not beauty related. Maybe some might be, we'll see. So I was going between this topic as well as K-pop, like my obsession with K-pop that started when I was young, surprising me, like 90s. That's when I was <laughs> young. But I thought I would save K-pop for another day, maybe try and do like a K-pop related look. We'll see. And I'm just not feeling that right now. I'm just getting ready to make a video. I'm just gonna wash it all off when I'm done. Your girl has things to get done for. Why are there so many ants on that thing? My family is having a barbecue. I'm gonna help cook. I'm not an amazing cook, but I ain't, I ain't bad either. The first current obsession, well, it's not, it is current in the sense that it's been, I'd say the past, you know, month or two, but decluttering videos, I love watching people declutter eyeshadow palettes in particular. I have no idea why. I love watching people get rid of stuff. I usually tend to hoard stuff, especially like my makeup, but I have decluttered the entirety of my room. My clothes, my shoes, my, like just things in my room in general. I wouldn't say it's a movement, but a lot of people have gone into you know, this minimalistic, very simplified lifestyle. And I think that's great. I don't think that's what I'm doing. I'm not purposely trying to become a minimalist. I just want to have less than what I have. It's still probably an absurd amount for any one person, but it's definitely less than what I'm used to. So, you know. I have the weirdest shape head where nothing stays on it. I swear. Ugh, so frustrating. By the way, my eyes are red because I literally just took a shower. Came home from the gym. I have been watching like crime videos. You know, stuff like on Dateline, they would upload on YouTube. I would watch those things and like scare myself. I can't stop watching it. I watched one, oh, where this guy and I think their nanny that they took in were working at their, I think it's like a golf, little golf amusement park. And then their wife, his wife had been shot. They found the nanny and the man along with their children, not with the nanny, with the lady that was murdered. They found them in Costa Rica together, running a business crazy stuff. I love watching people do cheat days because it makes me happy because that's what I do. I don't like to call it a cheat day. It seems so guilty and I've come such a long way to be okay with having a meal like that and knowing that it's not an everyday thing. And my favorite one is Nick, what's his name? Something, is it Don or Dom? Dom Pierre? Team Big Bites basically. I love watching him eat because I feel like that's how I eat. I love taking like big bites of food. I'm definitely team big bites all the way. Oh, mukbangs. I love mukbangs. I prefer Korean mukbangers because it's just like this crazy amount of food. And then I just wanted to watch sushi mukbangs because I love sushi. I'm not much of a seafood boil type of watcher. I don't know why. I love seafood, but it just doesn't tickle my fancy watching people eat that kind of stuff. I don't get into sweets. I, have I mentioned this before? I don't think I have. I honestly don't crave sweets. It's rare that I would actually crave it. I mean, if it's there, I'll have some of it, but I never really go, oh, I really wish I had this. My favorite one has to be croissants, just plain croissant. And it's not even like sweet. See, see, basic. Oh, these color pop pencils. I don't know how I feel about them. I mean, they're cheap and they work, but they're not, I mean, they're not as good as the Anastasia ones. Anti-hauls, I like to watch anti-hauls. I don't think I'll make them, but they're, they're entertaining to watch. And I watch documentaries. I've watched The Toughest Prisons. There's two 
two different hosts and they basically spend a week or a few days in prison. I think this series called Trafficking. Is it Trafficking? I'm not sure. Something like that. Oh, another big one on, uh, I almost said YouTube, Netflix is that uh, Tidying Up, I think it's called. A lady from Japan helps families kind of organize their mess or hoarding. I did watch, I think, the first five episodes. Sometimes I question question why I do certain things, but I have seen, I think it's either two or three documentaries on CrossFit. Ask me if I CrossFit. Ask me. No, I don't. It looks so intense and I'm very, I'm more like on the cautious side, so CrossFit kind of freaks me out. But I, I saw two documentaries on Netflix and I watched a couple things on uh, YouTube. Do any of you guys CrossFit? Because I give you mad props. It looks difficult. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. When it comes to snacks, I have currently been obsessed with these Korean shrimp chips. Like a shrimp stir fry flavor. Or it's not fried shrimp. It looks like a stir fry on the picture. I can't read it, so. But it's so good. And there's also this popsicle. It's it's not from the same brand, I don't think. If you have had Korean grapes, it has a distinct taste. And it's in a purple bag as well. And it tastes exactly like the good tasting Dimetap medicine. Because it's the medicine I can stand to take in that's not in a capsule. I could never give up like snacks entirely because I love them, particularly chips. Like I think I can do away with without candy, but if you say you gotta get rid of your chips, I'll be like, who you be? Excuse you. My smoothie mix is spinach, kale, must have, um, chia seeds, flax seeds, must have, apple cider, must have, ginger, must have, fresh ginger, mixed berries, like frozen mixed berries, bananas, and there's this new juice that I found at one of the stores that we have here and it's the mixed fruits and vegetables put that in some water it's so good it's so good i had that the past four days yeah that's the first time i tried it bomb so bomb i really really like to go and find new workouts to do at the gym because i've gotten bored of the ones that i learned how to do in um when I had a personal trainer. I love to see people put like a workout together and they show you how to do a couple reps. I learned how to do new glute exercises and that's what I did for the entirety of my workout today. And my butt hurts. It's painful. <sighs> I'm so much better with the ones that you dip in than these pen ones. I hate them. I am also obsessed with organizing things I've, I've always been this way but it's still like it's still a habit and i remember asking my mom probably a few weeks ago it's like mom was i obsessed with organizing things when i was younger because this is pretty this is pretty serious i'm just i'm a natural organizer and i like things in a certain way always have it just nuts if it's not if i don't have my normal routine and something like changes it I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty common for people who prefer routines to be a bit more organized. Gosh, I feel so boring. I probably, I am. I really am boring. I used to be so into K-pop. Again, that'll be for a different video, but for the past few months, I literally have been listening to what do you what do you call it what's the genre called not despacito but you know that family is it luis fonsi luis fonsi i don't know how you say his name like his song demi lovato like that kind of upbeat land music i don't know i'm so obsessed with it it just puts me in like that kind of mood you know like oh yeah shimmy i'm not a big fan of like the slower pace kind of has more of like that lower more like sensual vibe i'm not really into it i prefer more upbeat music that you can 
dance to. But I've also been going back to country music that will be another get ready with, with me. And nobody I knew, like as a kid, listened to country music. So it's kind of like that kind of thing. 90s, I think I'm pretty sure it's 90s. 90s country. Shania Twain, Faith Hill, who else I listen to? Ricochet. I listen to a little bit of Alan Jackson. I listen to Dan Rio. I literally want it to be Southern. I don't think country music is like what it used to be. I prefer like that old school vibe of country. I do listen to country music now and again in modern day times, but I just don't feel like it's the same. I'm probably the worst person to shop my stash with because I literally just say this, 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 this. I don't even think about a look. I just pick stuff and say hey see how it goes i don't think i have much more obsessions that i can talk about the sleeping count i don't know but when i was younger i could sleep forever i can't nap like i used to like i used to nap i don't i wouldn't even consider it napping like i literally just slept in the middle of the day it's not even a nap i feel like nap is like 30 minutes who who wants to nap for 30 minutes but now that's what I do, like I can't nap long. I am not obsessed with getting older. Let's just leave it at that. I love how I'm relying on my viewfinder, but it's like this small. Pray for the best. It's not a tutorial, let's so get ready with me. Viewer discretion advised. Does anyone highlight their brow bone just with their highlighter? I never highlight with an eyeshadow. You know, I think this, this might be the best one to end with but i've been obsessed with making videos which is crazy because i go through slumps of wanting to film you guys notice i've been doing three videos a week just watch next week i'm gonna have like two no we need to be a little bit more consistent with youtube because i enjoy making youtube videos it's just sometimes the motivation and like video ideas are harder to come by. I know I didn't do a good job, but Ugh, I just burped in my mouth. Where else do you burp? Sometimes I call farts butt burps though. And then burps, I call mouth farts sometimes. I have not worn this gloss in so long, but it's still, it's still good. It doesn't taste as bad. All right, guys, this is the final makeup look. Thank you guys for joining me in this Get Ready With Me. There will be more to come with other future ideas to talk about as we get our makeup done. Full list of products will be listed down below. You can also check me out on Instagram where I will list the products as well, along with this outfit. And I don't know if I'm gonna do the bunny ears. We'll see. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and click the red subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. And until the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.